All right, Brunson versus Halliburton. This is a tough one, right? Because I think part of me wants to go Jalen Brunson, and a lot of that is just intangibles. It, it's kind mm-hmm. of subjective. I'm just like, he he just feels like that dude. He just yeah. feels like, you know, that's a dude that you, you can look at the postseason. You can look at his last two postseasons, even when you take him back to playing with Luka. And, you know, you were talking about, I forget who it was, but it had like, like a certain value. Like Darius Garland has a certain, you know, you know fluidity to his game where Jalen Brunson can take over. Jalen Brunson can feed Julius Randle and spot up. Jalen Brunson can kind of be a few different things. And, you know, we've seen him do it in Dallas off of Luka. We've seen him do it as the main guy in New York. And so I think there's a part of me that wants to go Jalen Brunson, number one, because him and Halliburton have similar shooting splits. Uh, Jalen Brunson can get his shot, can score the ball a little bit better. Halliburton's going to be a better creator. And I think maybe Halliburton I might like a little bit more long-term, but I think Mm -hmm. right now, I'd probably go Brunson and and part of like a Halliburton more is just that, you know, he's so long that yeah. even if he's not a great defender, that length is going to be an asset. Whereas, you know, we just saw, you know, we saw Brunson get beat off the dribble by Peyton Pritchard and taken to the cup. Like, <laughs> like I love my guy PP, but I'm just saying, you know, that's, that's not exactly who you're probably going to be facing in the Eastern conference finals or in the finals, if you ever get there. But I think for today, you know, we're recording this on August 6th. I would go probably Jalen Brunson one Tyrese Halliburton two. If you want to make a case the other way, certainly willing to listen. No, I I think I would agree, man. Jalen Brunson is about to turn 27 at the end of the month. So he's like entering the first years of his prime. Halliburton, I believe, is 23. Yeah, so he turned 23 in February. So Mm -hmm. he's he's still three three years away from his prime. Um, So I think Jalen Brunson right now, especially with just like his ability to dominate a game with like just his IQ. Yeah. Like he's, he's just so freaking smart and he's so good um, running pick and roll and getting to his spots. Like you just can't stop that guy. When we saw him live, man, that was so frustrating seeing the Knicks versus Celtics where we just couldn't stop Jalen Brunson. Like he got to every single spot he wanted to on the court. I think Marcus was out that game. If I remember correctly, I can't remember. I'm not, I, I'm I think, positive. I think he was out for that game. Um, but, Brunson was was unbelievable. Well, that's our future. There's no Marcus Smart now, so you know you're looking at Malcolm Brogdon and, and Derek White. That's that's the responsibility when you go up against the Knicks, who beat the Celtics three to one in the regular season last year. You know that is the task at hand. Is, is how do you stop Jalen Brunson? He's you know he's, he's yeah. thick, not quick, but he finds a way to get that shot off in the lane. He finds a way to to make it happen. So I think I'm good with this list with this with this top five here, Greg. So to recap, we've got Jalen Brunson. We've got Tyrese Halliburton, Darius Garland, James Harden, and Drew Holiday. Those are your top five Eastern Conference point guards. And that's all we got for you guys. Uh, we're we're going to move the vibe. 